Hi everyone. Today we're doing a review. I have a new fabric shaver. My old one lasted probably a good year and then was done. So I knew I wanted one that was portable and I knew I wanted one that didn't take batteries. My last one took batteries. It took a lot of batteries, but I loved the ease of taking it around the house and delinting things. <laughs> so I did a lot of research and I picked out this one on Amazon, which I'll link below. Basically, it is a fabric shaver that sits in a base and wirelessly charges. And then when it's done, you take it off the base and it's good to go. So I wanted to see how well it worked. I have a very thick cashmere sweater here. And as you can see, what happens with most cashmere sweaters, they get those little pilly balls all over the fabric. And there's a good many of them. So I'm gonna set this down. <laughs> it was ready to go. Okay, and I'm gonna go over it a few times. So this is the side that I did. And you can see there's definitely less of those pills. And now watch when I turn it over. <laughs> okay, so this is another side we'll have to do. You can see it just has lots of pilly balls. Okay, so I'm gonna set this side down and go over it just the same. I love this. You can press really hard without feeling like it's gonna tear the fabric. This is a really chunky knit, obviously, but that took off every single thing I put it through. That's really nice. I'm gonna to continue to do the sweater because it does have a little bit in other places. I think we're good. The sweater looks so much better. There's no pills. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that, but There's not a single pill in it. That worked really well. So let's see how hard this is to open. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> don't push the button when you have it open. That's not good. The button on the last one was on the back, so it was easier not to push it accidentally. That is funny. Okay, so it did obviously take, take out some of the fabric. I'm sure there's a way to clean this that I'm not seeing. I have an instruction manual, which of course I haven't read, but Actually, my last one, when you turned this, all the parts just kind of came flying off and occasionally I'd accidentally throw away a part and have to dig through it. So this does seem better. The quality seems really nice. I like how the handle is. It's very soft and nice to hold. <laughs> that button is so funny though. Probably would have put the button somewhere else, but it's pretty and yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I would highly recommend this one. We'll see how it does on some thinner knits eventually when I have something to, to depill, but that took out all of that and the sweater looks like brand new. So good job. So we're going to go to the second pant leg and see how we do. Again, this is kind of the before Okay, 
they definitely work. And it does look much better. It's not taking off the lint 100%, but it absolutely has gotten better. Would this be worth my time for these exact pants? Probably not. You do still see some pilling, but if I took 10 minutes, it, it would make it much better. These are an older style, so I just don't know if it's worth the 10 minutes, but I really don't have too much else to do right now. They were at like maybe a four out of a one to ten scale before ten being like premium best new condition and one being the worst so they were they were pretty pilly and not good looking and now they're like maybe at a seven so they definitely did improve I don't think it would be time too time consuming to go over them quickly, but they absolutely did get better. This is just that fabric where everything kind of sticks to it. I'm sure Lululemon has a name for it. It's better, not perfect. So I will disclose the pilling, but let's see how much we get out of this. Okay, so we got less than the cashmere sweater, obviously, but we still did get a decent amount of pilling off of these pants. So again, pretty good. I'm going to try one more, um, <laughs> that button, I'm going to try one more fabric and it's going to be a really light fabric. This one's a little bit more heavy. The cashmere was the heaviest, obviously. So we'll see how it does with that. The last piece is in an Eileen Fisher and this has some small pilling. not even really pilling it's just like the fabric has some texture because of wear I guess they call it wear more than than pilling so because this is a fairly lightweight fabric I'm going to try to pull this as tight as I can while I'm using this and one tip is always to turn it on away from it because there's always like a little lint cloud I think I have the best control when I actually put my hand under it and that way I can kind of get uh, closer to the fabric and stretch it at the same time. Okay, this might be a good, a good hand to show you. So do you see it kind of has this textury wear pilling. So I'm going to work on that. Okay, now I'm going to go back a little bit because that's where I was when I showed it to you. It definitely is doing something. Here's another bad spot. I'm going to work on that. Okay, now getting back to the spot I actually showed you. It's definitely better. I don't know if you can see it but it's definitely, definitely better. 
Just wondering how long this would actually take me to do. Here's another bad spot that's right underneath the underarm, so kind of where your arm brushes against the actual fabric. It's definitely better. That probably made the most difference. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. I'll speed it up and see how we do. So this one's also coming out just like the Lululemon. It's a noticeable difference. Definitely approved it. It's not perfect. You can definitely tell this isn't like that crisp clean new fabric but it's it's definitely improved i'm going to keep going yeah definitely better i do like the method of putting your hand under the thing for a lighter weight fabric because I think then you have a little bit more control and you can hold it a little bit more taut. I was wondering, yeah, the insides also have pilling. So I'm gonna hit the inside as well. Definitely better. So far it hasn't caught any of the material. I know with some lint um, fabric, what are we calling these? Fabric shavers. You catch material, and this isn't doing that. You can see. Especially like right in there. Definitely better. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm going to say it took it, this wasn't in terrible shape, from maybe like a 6 to an 8, so better. Okay, let's see, just chopped it. Let's see what we're looking like in here. Oh, okay, that's a lot more than I thought of. So it's definitely picking up some of the fabric. I have one of my own personal tops that has even lighter of a fabric that I know, I know needs some help. So I'm going to go get that one next. Since my brownies are out of the oven, yeah, pretty good. Last thing, and unfortunately it's black, this is my own personal top. And it gets pilly so fast. I don't know if it's the fabric or whatnot, but it's like one of those lace extenders to make other items longer and cover. So I'm going to... Yeah, that definitely worked. Now I want to do the entire thing. <laughs> I always hand wash this separately and I don't know what kind of material this is. I couldn't find any of these in plain cotton. It's made by Grace and Lace and it's one of the few things I did retail. I bought retail. It's rayon spandex, which I think is what that other top was, but this one is like see-through rayon spandex. It's really light, lightweight. Okay, so I'm gonna go over it a little bit and see how we do. Yeah, it's, it's just not great. And what I thought would happen, happened, which is why this was one of my own shirts and this is on the back, so you'll never even see that. 
but we got a hole. So I was pulling that tight. I mean, I wasn't like specifically pulling at it, but I was kind of moving it around and the fabric did get eaten. So I wouldn't recommend this for um, very lightweight tops like this, but I would recommend it if you had sweaters specifically and even medium weight items I think would be fine. So I hope that helps. I will take you over and show you the base. Okay, so here it is plugged into my computer. The base is just kind of like a cheap egg plastic. Haha! -ha. That makes more sense, guys. Okay, so this back part flips out, which is making it more stable, which is what it needed. Okay, so I don't know. Nope. Maybe it stands like this. Is that lighting up? I thought maybe it would light up when it was plugged in, but it's not seeming to. Light up, little light. Maybe I have it backward. Okay, let's see if that light is lighting up now. Nope. Well, <laughs> so far, this has been a fail. I, I don't know how to light it up. It would make more sense to me that it goes like this because it feels more stable like that. Oh, it lit up. Do you see that? I don't know what I just did, but it must have just like been off or something. That was clearly my fault. It lit up. Okay. So I would give this a 7 out of 10. Honestly, I liked my older one better, but it died within a year. Unfortunately, this one ate a hole in one of my items, and my old one did not. So I'll just have to be more careful about that because they don't make my old one anymore. And I do like the cordless design that it won't be going through batteries so quickly. So. There's a review. We'll leave this open to whether or not you like this design. I love that it's portable. I love that it doesn't take batteries. Don't love that it made a hole. And past that, it's okay. I wish this part was blue, <laughs> which you already know. So thank you guys so much. Bye.